Tonight, you can feel the love in the air as Nzanzi's caregivers come together to take big steps towards fulfilling Madiba's legacy. With the help of Nzanzi's generous people, former president Mr. Nelson Mandela's dream of a dedicated specialist hospital for African and South African children can finally be realized. Acting today, touching tomorrow. The significance of this evening's dinner is a kickstart of a campaign to raise money to build the Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital. This is going to be a first of its kind in South Africa. It's a tertiary hospital. It's also an academic hospital. It will be in Johannesburg. However, it is designed to serve the children of the continent. We have 450 million children. And out of the 415 million children, we only have four hospitals. So clearly, that has to change. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital fundraising dinner. I hope that Mr. Mandela gave this country 67 years of his life to fight for the liberation. Gave 27 years of those in prison. With his first paycheck, he created the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund. Tonight's initiative is a bold step. A billion rand is a lot of money. I had a lot of fear about this hospital because I knew that as the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund, we couldn't do it by ourselves. We would need to mobilize the entire world to build this for children of Africa. To be able to get involved in this project is extremely important because one loves to sort of give back to the country and Madiba's project has just been the most amazing one for me. Everyone can make a difference, whether you're a big retailer, a corporate or an individual like myself, you can make a difference to a cause that's worthy. So this is a worthy cause and we all know it and we all have an obligation to try and make a difference. So here I am. Well, Mr. Mandela is so passionate about children and I think that having this hospital will, it will impact a lot of children's lives and will better our community and hopefully, hopefully improve South Africa. I thank you for your commitment as we work together to take one step further in our efforts to changing the way society treats its most precious asset, our children. I hope we will achieve the objectives of getting people to open up their pockets and be generous for one of Mr. Mandela's uh, wishes and perhaps uh, his last most important wish. Today is the first anniversary of my grandson who would have turned one today. And he was born six months prematurely. We lost him and it was very painful for the family because once again, here's a little kid who could have been saved, but for obvious reasons, we lost him. For the mere fact that the guys are saying that no children are going to be turned away, priceless. The important thing is not just South Africa, it's for, for the entire continent. One cannot describe the importance of uh, helping children. We're hoping that we can do our bit to help this dream of a hospital, uh, a children's hospital come true. Someone give me 20,000 Rand, I'm looking for 20,000 Rand and I'm American again. 20,000 Rand, I'm looking for 20,000 Rand. 20,000, anybody gonna give me 20,000? I think this is one of those things that makes you feel, South Africa is a great country. There are problems, but there are people who come together and say, how do we address the problem? South Africans are known to be very generous in general. We do rise to the occasion when we know that there is an issue of cardinal importance. We are just at the dawn of Madiba's birthday, 94th birthday. We would really just want to give him a gift. And the gift that he would like to have, the gift that he would love at this point, is a gift that benefits children. I know that this project is going to succeed. A journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. It's a daunting task, it's big, it's huge, we know that, we don't undermine it, but we know with South Africans' ability and commitment, the hospital will become a reality. I've got 10,000 rand, ladies and gentlemen, give me a round of applause. As the dream draws nearer, the needs of our kids' healthcare becomes clearer. With the help of these people and yours, the needs of our kids have been put in the forefront. A very proud moment from Zanzi. And don't forget to put your 67 minutes to good use on Mandela Day. Proudly brought to you by Hennessy Cognac.